to show and demonstrate how to take an item uh, and reinforce holes so for 3D printing. So here is uh, just a little block that I have here. It's 20 millimeters thick and it's 80 by 80. So here is a hole it's a, that I have and I'm using Thinker, Tinkercad here. So I'm going to go ahead and move this into the block and I'm going to get it so it is a through hole so you can see it goes all the way through the block. I'm just going to duplicate this and put a few of them on here. Put one on each corner maybe. Duplicate again and we'll come down here. One more. And maybe we'll go ahead and do one in the center. Uh, we'll duplicate here. And we'll put one in the center. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab this whole thing and group it. By grouping it, I'm going to be putting the holes in the block. So here's a simple block with four or five holes in it. Now if I printed this and then run this into my slicer, uh, and if I tried to screw this block down, it would break. Uh, it would be very weak. But I'll demonstrate how you can reinforce these holes. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and export. I'm going to export everything in here to an STL file. So here we go. Got a test block. So now I'm going to go ahead and, and just open it and it's going to launch Cura. And this doesn't make any difference what printer you use to do what you want to do. Okay, so I'll move this in here now. And uh, so we're good. All right. So here's Kira and there's the test block. So now the way I do this is I'll go ahead and slice this. And you can see it's a two hour print. And if I go to preview and if I scroll down on this, you can see here, for example, all it has is a thin little wall around each of these blocks. So it could easily break out. Now this is your this is your infill mesh, which is based on your uh, um, infill percentage. So just for, for fun, let's take the infill and, uh, I missed it here, let's go infill. There we go. It's 10% right now. Let's just take it down to 5%. I'm going to save a huge amount of plastic, slice this at 5%. So there we go. Now you can see how how the infill is. Now, but I want some of these blocks to be very, uh, some of these through holes to be reinforced. We'll, we'll reinforce a couple of them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to prepare here. Just to Now I'm going to click this little support blocker down here. I'm going to click right here. There's a support blocker. Now I'm going to click off the model, click back on the support blocker. And now I want to move it. I'm going to move it onto and over the hole. Okay. Now you're going to look at it. And now I want to make it, size it. So I'm going to shut off uniform scaling. I'm going to go up like this. Let's see here. I could type in too what I want it to be. Now let's see if we move it now. See if I, I basically, that's what I want. I want it to go all the way through. Because I want this to be reinforced. I want a square plug-like look all the way through it. So now we're going to go ahead and let's let's go in here now on this and click this little, sorry, there we go. Click this little thing called per model settings. And I want to go to modify settings for overlaps. So click that. Now I'm going to go select settings. Here... I'm going to hide quality, hide walls, uh, top and bottom. I want to go to infill. I want to click on infill density. Okay. So now I close this. So now down here is infill density. I want this to be 90% infill. Okay. So there we go. So now if I slice this right now, I'll go click off this. If I slice this, this will 
show you what I'm talking about. If I go preview, here you can see where I did the block, my infill is going to be nice and thick. So I'm gonna basically have a, when I, when I screw th this block into the wall, this is not gonna break as easily as this will break out because I've made a thick wall. And I can make that block any size I want. I can go into scale on it. And let's say I wanna go, um, I wanna go ahead and make it wider and make it deeper. So there we go. Now I'll, I'll slice this again. So there it's a bigger block, but it's a solid block. You can see it's solid. So you can put these little blocks. Now let's say I already created this. Now I can click this block. I can right click it and say multiply, select, multiply selected. I wanna take two copies of it. There I have two copies of it now. So here, now here's where you gotta go and go back to prepare so you can see them. So there's, I'm gonna move this copy over this one. So here's another copy. I'll put it over here, okay? This one here needs to be tweaked a little bit. I'll center it. And so here you can see, now if I slice this, and I click on preview, now you can see I have three blocks that are that are that way. Now I'm going to I'm going to multiply this one by one. I'm going to move it up here. It again, it's easier to go back off preview mode so you can see what you're doing. This is actually the copied block right there. I'll just put it back over this. So now let's slice this. And I go to preview. You see, now this block is going to be very strong by attaching a screw through this thing on these four corners because that has that added material in there. So hopefully this, this helps, uh, helps you understand. And I just can upload this to my, to my Creality uh, Ender or I can save it to a G-code and then print it. So hopefully that, uh, that gets you... Uh, get you to fully understand how this works. Have a great day.